Tonight we're doing a little photo shoot inspired by many artists. All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Andrew Robles from A-Town Productions, and I just wanted to go over a few tips and tricks from the photo shoot that we just did that you saw in the previous video. I used a white paper backdrop for a white wall for me to, to, um, to throw the projector screen on. I got this DR.J projector on Amazon for $68, it was on sale. Right now, I believe it's 99. Don't quote me, but it, it fluctuates from 70 to 120 at sometimes. What I did was Google an image on Google. Uh, I just typed in something cool, like a futuristic space city background. And I threw it onto this USB, threw it on to the projector, and I threw the projector to the side of my, um, of my model so there wouldn't be anything on front of her face obstructing it a lot of people are doing that you know put the projector just front on or right behind them which makes it a very small background and i prefer to have like a bigger background backdrop give it a more different vibe so yeah this thing is really cool uh, i got it for my kids too they can watch cartoons on it they still prefer their ipads but anyways, it's really cool. I can see myself using this for other projects as well. It comes with a remote. Uh, for this shoot, I use my, my one and only camera for photography is my Canon 5D Mark IV. I swear by Canon for photography, that's all I will use. i never jumped off the bandwagon of Canon. Now filmmaking, I use other cameras, but for photography, I will only use Canon. Like, that's it. This is my baby. This is my money maker right here, my Canon 5D Mark IV. I use the 85 prime for the whole shoot. And see, I, I want everyone to know that you don't have to stick to strobe lighting, studio strobe lighting. I use two aperture lights uh, and I threw some gels on top of them. And with that, I didn't need to do a strobe. I just put my f-stop at around 4.0, 5.6. In some shots I did 2.0, so I can get that focus and, and get that low light perfect for me. And I bumped up the light for me on the apertures, which helped with the look that I was able to achieve. Of course, you know, the dodging and burning, all the editing stuff in Photoshop. You don't always have to use a studio strobe. You can use any kind of lights, not any kind of lights, but like, you know, if you have video lights or um, continuous lighting, you don't have to have a strobe. Like if you don't have a strobe and you only have continuous lighting, use that. Bump up the, 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 the power on that, lower your f-stop, raise your shutter speed, and you know, make magic with your camera. This was, again, inspired by Manny Ortiz. Uh, him and his wife are always doing dope shoots and I've been in a rut for a while and I watched this one and I was like, yo, I gotta try that. Uh, I bought all the props. Uh, the, the, the glasses on Amazon, I believe it was like 20 bucks. Don't quote me on that, but the, the glasses were about 
The wig was about $13, $15. And the costume only costed me about $19 as well. One of those. All affordable stuff. And it just, it made for a dope shoot. I loved it. It was great. I had fun. We even ate pizza while doing that shoot. And my daughter was running around causing a racket. So I added the stars in for a little extra effect. Um, just to add to the futuristic city. I did an 85, so the portrait shots that I did were tight. So you can't really see the city that I that I used for the backdrop, but you can still it still made it seem like she was somewhere else. Uh, I didn't use a wide lens for the shoot. I wasn't feeling a wide lens for it. So yeah, get out of your comfort zone. You don't need to try not to use a, a studio show. Uh, tag me in some pictures that you're gonna do using a continuous light meaning it's not a strobe like it's not an hss or anything like that yes i still always use my hss uh high speed sync strobes and 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 flash photographies you know but for this shoot i found it was going to be a lot easier if i just use continuous lighting bumped up the lights on the side of her and then raised my shutter speed with a lower f-stop to a medium f-stop and just have fun with it in photoshop and in lightroom and there, and that's what it was, that's how I was able to create these images right here. Uh, the projector was awesome. Like I said, I want you guys to give it a try. Go get yourself a cheap projector. It doesn't have to be an expensive one. Get a 45, 50, $60 projector, throw it on a backdrop and, and just have fun with it. Get creative, make it someone, make your model or subject look like they're in space or on the moon. I don't know, anything. But that's it for today. I hope these tips and tricks were helpful and see you guys in the next video. What else? What else can I fucking say? What else? I'm always lost. I don't know what to say. I'm, um, oh my God. I don't know. I don't know. Are we done? Could I be done? I'm done. All right. Call it quits.